greedy. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Life after death is only gotten by Jesus Christ. The Bible says, Go in all the world and preach the gospel, the gospel that Jesus Christ suffered and died, according to the scriptures, and was buried, and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. Now the fact is that mankind has a death according to the scriptures. The Bible says the wages of sin is death. You're going to die according to the scriptures by being a sinner. Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures. It is the fact that the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world was prophesied many, many, many years before his birth, before his death. Many times Jesus told the disciples on the way to Jerusalem what would happen to him when the chief priest would sell him over, when Judas would betray him. According to the scriptures, Jesus Christ suffered and died. Scripture tells us we're going to die, but we have no idea when death will come. And Jesus Christ, according to the scriptures, knew exactly what day, exactly what year, and exactly what time of the day he would die. He would die at the same time that would be found in the book of Exodus at the Passover lamb at even. Uh, even as that Passover lamb died, it was that even that Jesus Christ yielded up the ghost according to the scriptures. And the Bible says that he was buried, as you would do with all dead men. You don't want a corpse hanging around. And yet one thing, unlike man, the wages of sin is death. Jesus Christ without sin. Jesus Christ sinless, perfect, perfection, righteous, God alone. God manifested in the flesh. Without sin still died for the sinner. Isaiah 53. On the third day, Jesus Christ arose from that grave. Many, many, many men and women are in graves and still in graves today. They are in heaven by Jesus Christ, their souls, or in hell, minus Jesus Christ, their souls. But their body, their bones, are still where they were placed after their death. Jesus Christ in the grave, three days and three nights later, that stone was kicked away, rolled away, and the angels proclaimed, He is not here. He is risen according to the scripture. The fact is that my Jesus separates from your religion is I serve a risen Savior. My being, my foundation of my belief is no longer in the tomb. My faith, my salvation, my God is seated at the right hand of God right now. And the Bible also proclaims a prophecy that has not happened yet. And in 48 prophecies of the coming of Jesus Christ, and the 48 prophecies 100% fulfilled by Jesus, you better believe that the prophecies yet to come are going to happen as God has prescribed. For Jesus died according to the scriptures and was buried, and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. And according to the scriptures, the next, next great event that will happen on this planet Earth is the bride of Jesus Christ, those that are saved, dead or alive, will be caught up together with the clouds, and those who have rejected Jesus Christ will be left behind. If you never put faith in Jesus Christ, that moment that Jesus calls his bride, you will be without 
any Christian influence, any Bible influence, no Christians will be around when Christ calls his bride home. That's according to the scriptures as much as the scriptures that Jesus suffered and died and arose again the third day. It just hasn't happened yet. And yet the Jews for many, many years Many, many years waited for the Messiah. They're still waiting for the Messiah, even though he has come. So what happens when he dies? Where does he go? And the fact is, if Jesus Christ fulfilled the prophecies of his first coming, he will fulfill the prophecies of the last of death, Jacob's trouble, the tribulation. God put it there. The Antichrist will come they according will, to the scripture. They will in the, after the bride of the and the fact is again that they will be the Bible um, is prophecy. Will, um, the Bible has happened them. and is yet Except still to happen. So, so what about so, all this stuff with Trump and, and uh, setting the, the uh, embassy and designating Well, there's one thing that's going to happen before all that happens. God is going to remove Christ's bride, what we call the rapture. When you say Christ's bride, what do you mean by that? Those, those who have believed on the Lord Jesus Christ are saved. Whether they're dead or alive, that's the only said we're all going to be caught up together and taken that. And at that moment, when the Christians are gone, all those that are saved are gone. Sometime after that, we don't even know how long. But there'll be a period called seven years of Jacob's trouble. That's the great tribulation. That's when the Antichrist is going to come. That's the mark of the beast, 666. That's when the wrath of God will fall by vials. So you're talking about like uh, uh, Trump's son-in-law with the 666 building in New York City? See, we don't know what's going to happen. It may, it may be 40 years from now, 60 years, and then Trump would have nothing to do with it. We don't know who it is, but we do know that that Antichrist, that being. He wants to know about the Jews, the what's Jew happening to the, the Jewish Jew population. What happens to do right now, the Jew to go to heaven is to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ as okay, their so Savior. They, assuming that they don't, because they're going to their temple, they're uh, well, many do. Saturday. Many do. Many are saved. Many are not. Well, well then why, is, if they are, then why aren't they practicing Christianity right than Judaism? Well, there are some. That are, I know. I know a few Jews that are saved, are in a Bible believing church, are trying to save the church. Gabby Gipper c converted to Judaism because she she said the only way to get do things done in the in the country is to partner with uh, Wasson and Schultz and and uh, she's probably was see, Irish Catholic. That's the thing. Everybody thinks America is a number one in the Bible. America's not even in the Bible. Okay. Right. Yeah, the nation of Israel are God's people. They are the source of the Bible. They, Jesus so Christ then, was born of a so Jew. Then when they say Jews are God's chosen people, yeah. Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and they're chosen. And right now so they're, they just, are. They're just chosen, or are they special? They're special and chosen. Okay, so they're then, the elect of God. So, but so right then now, the Jewish people actually are above the Christians, and the Christians have to, the Christians are working for the Jewish people. Well, what God right. told Abraham. I will bless them that bless you. I will curse them that curse you. That, well, that is still Hagee. going. Pastor Hagee is hammering that down on everybody's head. But the thing is, if a Jew today, today, right now, if he dies without Christ, he goes to hell just as much as anybody else. I'm just like a mass. But I'm today, like it's all upon your faith and belief in the blood of Jesus Christ. Whoever you are, whatever you are, whatever sex you are, it Even as today. a Catholic, if you don't believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, His blood is the finished work on the cross, you'll go to hell if you don't believe that. See, with I've, the, I've, I've been doing a lot of research. I think that this is all this whole extra stuff. And, and it's just, uh, okay, I remember talking to you now yeah, about the yeah. UFOs. Yeah. I'm saying the Bible's 100 percent correct, but the metaphors in there for the fact is. And when we opened the passage in the Bible, in my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. If I go to prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, 
there ye may be also. And follow the passage, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. God has promised those who believe on Jesus Christ that there is a mansion. And it's a mansion that can't be found on planet Earth. That mansion, that activity, that source of salvation is the one that said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Those words are the words of Jesus Christ. Salvation is only wrought by Jesus Christ. And I saw an angel come down from heaven, having the key of the bottomless pit, and a great chain in his hand. He laid hold on the dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil and Satan, and bound him a thousand years. You may say that Satan rules, but my God, my Savior, is going to put a chain upon Satan. He's going to bound him for a thousand years. While Christ will set up his earthly kingdom in Jerusalem, upon the seed of David. And after that thousand years, Satan will be loosed and gather a massive army against God himself. And God, poof, you'll be gone. Satan will be gone. And we read, And I saw a new heaven and a new earth for the first heaven and the first earth was passed away. Bye-bye, mother. You're gone. And we read preceding that the death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. So the fact is, in the eternal life, for you there is a new heaven, a new earth, a new Jerusalem, upon the one that said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. I go to build a mansion. That mansion, that new earth, the new heavens, new Jerusalem, by Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. And without Jesus Christ in the eternity, you will get the lake of fire. And I, John, saw the holy city, new Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. If you reject Jesus Christ, that is not for you. If you continue to knock the preaching, you continue to reject the preaching, you will not get a heavenly city. You will not get before God. You will get a place called the lake of fire. Let me tell you, you may have your houses today. You may have your apartments. You may be having your mobile homes. You may have a mansion. But in eternity, without Jesus Christ, you will be forever homeless. You will be homeless after death without Jesus Christ. You look upon the homeless today as they ill, trash, bums. And that is your destination without Jesus Christ. You will have no home. You will have no city. You will have no walls. You will be forever in the bone of the lake of fire, burning forever in darkness in sorrow, in pain, torment. That is your eternal home. That is not a place of rest. You do not RIP in hell. You are you RBSP hell by rejecting Jesus Christ. You set your your reservations in heaven in the last book of life by your faith and your belief in Jesus Christ God himself a mansion is not prepared for you that reject Jesus Christ I heard a great voice out of heaven say behold the tabernacle of God is with men and he will dwell with them and they shall be his people. And God himself shall be with them. 
and be their God. That does not happen to you that reject Jesus Christ. God is not your God when you reject Jesus. God does not love everybody when you reject Jesus. You will not have that fellowship with God in the eternal life when you reject Jesus Christ. Upon your faith and belief from your heart and your mouth, Jesus Christ is your Savior. Jesus Christ is the Lamb of God that can take away your sin. Then you get a city. Then you get a mansion. New Jerusalem, where God will call you His people and you will be called by God. And you will acknowledge God as your God, as your Savior, as I do today. But without God and Jesus Christ as your soul's source of belief, you will be homeless in the lake of fire that burneth forever. There's no security in a lake, never mind a lake of fire. There is no source of footing in a lake, a lake of fire. There is nowhere for your feet to stand. And yet, in New Jerusalem, the street of New Jerusalem is gold. The value that man puts on merchandise, we will walk upon with our feet. There is no street. There is no rock. There is no foundation in the lake of fire where you will go to be homeless without Jesus Christ. Your foundation of religion and antichrist where you do not want Jesus Christ is the lake of fire that burneth forever. That will be your home, and what home would that be? In a lake that burneth forever. You will be homeless without Jesus Christ. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow, nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. Those are promised to those who have believed on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. No more pain, no more tears, no more sorrows, no more death. When we enter into the gates of that city, New Jerusalem, when we enter into our mansions, a home prepared by Jesus Christ, who said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. At that moment where I read in the Bible, tears will be wiped away by Jesus. The one that the Bible says, he wept. John 11:35. When Jesus was at the funeral, of his best friend, Lazarus, that died and was buried. Jesus wept. And when we read Revelation chapter 21, we read of no more death, no more sorrow, no more tears, no more pain by Jesus Christ. And if you were to die without Jesus Christ, you are homeless in a lake of fire that burneth forever. You will forever have pain and torment. There will be no relief from your pain and suffering and torment. Where you have a place you won't live. Or a place called the lake of fire. You'll be homeless without Jesus Christ. You will be in pain and in torment without Jesus Christ. God will no longer be your God. He's not your God today. Because you have not believed on the Lord Jesus Christ. God does not love you without Jesus Christ. And anybody from the pulpit says that God is love and God loves you as the sinner. They're lying. You tell them the Bible says they're a liar. Because there is no love of God outside of faith and belief upon Jesus Christ, His Son. And Jesus said, I'm gone to prepare a mansion. John says he saw New Jerusalem coming out of the clouds, coming out of the sky. That's a place prepared by God 
for those who have believed on the Lord Jesus Christ. What do you get if you got religion? A lake of fire. What do you get if you do not have Jesus Christ? A lake of fire. You'll be homeless without Jesus. Lake of fire has no walls. It has no floor, no ceiling. And there's a whole lot of pain. And no relief. And it's dark. There's no light as you swim in the lake that burneth forever. You'll have eyes, but you won't be able to see. And all you will hear is your friends and your family screaming of agony. And they'll no more care for you as all their cares will be upon themselves for all eternity. Because as for you and as for them, they rejected Jesus Christ as their Savior. They will have no home after death. They will not rest in peace without Jesus Christ. And yet Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. I go up to prepare a mansion, a place for you. And John tells us that place is New Jerusalem. That place is where God dwells. That place is where God abounds. And you will abound before God through Jesus Christ. It's a place where your tears will be wiped away. No more pain. God has prepared the ultimate health care place by Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. He will not give you a remedy for pain. He will remove your pain. Sorrows. Tears. Depression. Will be removed by God when you have believed on the Lord Jesus Christ and you have died and you have gone to that heavenly city. Now, Salvation in Jesus today may not relieve that pain. It may not remove that sorrow. But it gives you an opportunity to look those things ahead. For when we die, the Bible says, a surety to be absent from this body and present with the Lord. Your body may go into the grave but your soul will return to God, Jesus Christ, the source of salvation. And if you choose to reject Jesus Christ, you will be buried and you will wake up with your eyes open in a place called hell. And there you would want a little drop of water just to cool your tongue. But without Jesus Christ, you are homeless. And being homeless in America, you might get some fluid to drink. You might get something to eat. You may get some money to purchase whatever your heart's desire with what you got. You might be able to find a place to sleep being homeless. You might even get rained upon being homeless. There is some hope being homeless in the world. But if you to die without Jesus Christ and become homeless without Jesus Christ, there is no hope of any relief in the lake of fire. You cannot get money. You cannot even get a drop of water. Get all the water you want. No, you can't. 
you will not be able to find a place to sleep with a home that has no foundation as you drown and swim and paddle in the lake of fire that burneth forever, looking forever just to cool your tongue, Luke chapter 16. Now you got to preach the gospel, the Bible says. Yeah, but you don't have Not to be about, about it. Ah, oh, Jesus, I've been mentioning Jesus, salvation of Jesus. You don't even know who I am. Go home, read your Bible, see what it says. Fools. You need to shut your mouth. I need to proclaim Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And then without him, there is no home to be called home. In hell, there is no plaque that says home, sweet home. If there was, you couldn't read it. It's darkness. And there's no sweet in hell. No, you're not being obnoxious. You're warning them. But think about New Jerusalem. Think about the plaque that would lie on the walls of New Jerusalem. Here. The Lamb of God which took away the sin of the world. Well done, thou good and faithful servant. Enter now into the joy. The joy, the relief, and the hope by Jesus Christ. That's who we preach. That's what we preach. You must believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. Anything else is hell. Anything else, there's no home. Only Jesus Christ is able to give us a mansion. And we're not even worthy of a mansion. You say, preacher, where are you going when you die? I'm going home to be with Jesus. I say, Christ rejected, where are you going when you die? You're going to a no home. You're going to hell to be homeless for all eternity. And you know what the interesting fact, I know this of a surety. There are homeless people in the world today and when they die, because their faith in Jesus Christ, oh, they'll walk on a street of gold. Because they have believed on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. They have put their faith and trust in Jesus Christ to be saved. From a street corner, from a vacant storefront, Imagine closing your eyes and opening them to Jesus. And that moment when I read in Revelation 21, God Himself, come here, son, let me wipe off those tears. All the agony that you had on that earth, you won't find it here. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Reservations to heaven can be made by Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ alone. That's it. Imagine someone telling me I'm talking about myself. You fool. Tell him I said that. There's only one... <coughs> excuse me. There's only one name that's preached here. There's only one name that's repeated often. And not often enough. Jesus Christ. He'll give you a home. He'll wipe away your tears. He'll remove your pain for more than eight hours. 
Colt, by the way. He will remove hours, days, and weeks. So that moment, he said, oh, here goes, take away your pain. It's for all eternity. But you got to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. I'll tell you how you do it. Got a perfect illustration here. There's a possibility that you can save a life. You walk over here to this bus and you give your blood. You may save someone's life. You come to Calvary to the blood of Jesus Christ and it will save your life for all eternity. This blood drive here is temporal. It may give you more life, days, weeks, months, years. But the blood of Jesus Christ gives you life throughout all eternity. And if you love Jesus, hop that horn. The blood of Jesus Christ for all eternity will give you life. And you don't need to know what your blood type is. He'll take all sinners that come to Him. Repentive. Repenting. That want to be saved. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Without Jesus, when you die, you'll be without a home. In hell and in the lake of fire that burneth forever and ever and ever. To be without God, to be without Jesus, to be full of pain and sorrow. Or you can go home to be with God through Jesus, have a foundation, have your tears wiped away, your pain removed, and to be ever to call your Creator, your Savior, God, as He will call you His. It's your choice. You can be saved, or you can continue to be lost. Don't expect to be safe when you reject Jesus Christ. 